Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This morning I made it out really early on my trip down here to Cornwall to shoot St Michael's Mount, which is this mound here. Trust me, it is. I can see it, but unfortunately it's not really picking up that well on the actual video camera. But the tide is on its way in and it's just going out after sunrise itself so i've got about 20 minutes 25 minutes or so until sunrise and then the tide turns sorry 25 minutes until the tide turns about 45 minutes until the sun comes up half and a good hour maybe if i'm lucky because of where the direction of the sun's coming it's got a rise above the land so it may give me another sort of 15 minutes or so to play around with to make sure i've got my composition but um yeah i've made it down here super early left the family tucked up in bed at the cottage so hopefully we'll work out with a couple of good compositions this morning First composition set up here with the wide angle lens on at 17 mil because as I was trying to frame up a couple of images that I found on this composition here, 24 mil on the 24 to 105 lens wasn't wide enough to encompass some of these rocks in, as a foreground element. And yeah, swapping over to the 17 mil, luckily enough having it in the bag, working out really quite nice for this actual composition. So 17 mil on the on the lens f11 iso 50 and about a 10 second and a five second exposure smoothing out some of the water but getting some lovely reflections from the moon there working out really quite well now the sun is obviously rising behind you and casting some lovely light onto the actual castle of st michael's mount so again obviously illuminating that part of the subject which I'm really kind of key about coming to this location. I'm wanting for a clear morning, which luckily enough so far, I look like I've got, which is good. Uh, but obviously the direction that the sun is rising, which is over the land behind you, will obviously cast the light onto the actual castle itself, but keep obviously the light off of the sea in the foreground for the time being that is. So obviously I can do a couple of long exposures, but with obviously the castle itself being really well illuminated so yeah working out really quite well first thing this morning tell you what though there's nothing like the smell of sea air to wake you up first thing in the morning is there i turned the corner made found some steps that led down to this composition and uh yeah i was like wow i'm definitely awake now but uh i've still got the coffee and i need to have that in a moment anyway Moving the tripod around on to try and get several different compositions as I'm making the way down these steps here. As the tide now has reached high tide and on its way out. So yeah, working out really quite nice now. Just still having to be a bit careful of any rogue waves, but making it down this a little bit further, there's some rocks down here in the foreground which are obviously still getting covered with some of the waves and just working out really quite nice. 
playing around with the shutter speed, anything from one second to half a second, and just working out to see which one's really quite nice. With the steps and the, the causeway leading out here onto the left-hand side of the competition, St. Michael's Mount over to the left-hand side with all the thirds, give or take, and then obviously the moon as well, working out really quite nice. It's gonna hopefully be a bit of a unique couple of compositions here with what this is sun rising and the moon still up which is very very lovely and uh, hopefully will work out really quite nice as to several compositions but um, yeah just need the tide to go out a little bit further now to work out for some other compositions I think. The sun now is illuminating St Michael's now absolutely fantastically. Um, created some right, really lovely depth within the actual castle and the structure itself as well. So what I've actually done is taken a couple of compositions as I've been playing around and putting obviously the circular polarizer on as well and the filter system because like I said earlier with obviously the light not being on the foreground that's going to be obviously quite dark and obviously the mount itself and the sky above is obviously going to be quite uh, or lit up so I'm obviously going to need my grad filters in a moment I feel but working out really fantastic swap back over to the 24 to 105 mil lens and um, obviously taking an image at 24 mil in a portrait orientation switch it back over to landscape zoomed in slightly about 60 65 mil give or take tie to crop on the actual uh, mount itself yeah, working out really quite nice. Let's make sure we've got all that settings correct. It's all leveled up. So with the polarizer on, I've got it at F11, ISO 50 and 0.4 of a second. Working out really quite nice. Yeah, I'm having to probably adjust that shutter speed now. That's one of the images I took earlier, but obviously where the light's obviously rising, it's forever changing. Checking the histogram, checking obviously the review of the image as well, because what I've got set up on the review for the images, which most cameras do have now, is where obviously it's overexposed. So it's obviously blinking to let me know that that's obviously gonna be 
overexposed, no information in that. So yeah, obviously readjust the shutter speed once I come back onto that one. But uh, yeah, one fourth of the second. Yeah, working out really quite nice for this composition. So it's been a good 40 minutes or so since I last spoke to you because I really wanted to wait for this tire to start to recede and uh, yeah, over an hour or so after high tide, it's working out really quite nice because it's revealing more of this concrete causeway that I'm on. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm gonna wait some time until the cobbled causeway comes uh, obviously into play, but um, yeah, hopefully wait and see about that one. Um, I've got another, about another hour and a half or so on the car park, so uh, yeah, hopefully that will reveal itself because that's the kind of real sort of key image that you want to capture of this co lovely cobbled causeway, a little bit of the sea over it, and then obviously St. Michael's Mount in the background. But at the moment, it's working out really quite interesting. As I say, on this concrete causeway, and there's a bit of a zigzag within the actual causeway itself. And what it's causing, because obviously at the moment it's just below the waterline, as the waves are coming in, there's changing direction and creating a little bit of a different foreground pattern for the waves. So, got the circular polarizer on, got the 0.96, uh, 0.9 soft grad on as well. And yeah, just looking at that, working out really quite nice. Just balancing the histogram. I've got it um, opened up the aperture slightly to F9. ISO 50 again, and about one six of a second. And with the shutter release cable, what I'm waiting for is when the patterns create on the, the waves as they come in, is working out really quite nice as that one just done really nicely there and hopefully working out really a bit more interesting with the polarizer on as well cutting through a little bit of the sea so obviously you can still see the shape of the causeway as well but hopefully yeah as this tide retreats that little bit further more and more compositions will come up now as that sun's really lovely now and obviously illuminating St. Michael's Mount, let's get back to the main subject in hand. So having a quick check on Google Maps, realizing that actually I was in the wrong place completely for the cobbled causeway. So making it out here, quickly packing up the gear and running down here. Luckily enough, when I set my tripod up again and not clipping in one of the quick release feet, the tripod fell over, but luckily enough, the camera wasn't on top. So that was uh, a disaster avoided. But um, yeah, just working out really lovely now with the causeway revealing itself and 20 odd minutes left on the clock of the parking ticket will hopefully work out really quite well. Let's see if I can venture a bit further down the actual cobbled causeway now.
So capturing that image really quite well, we've got the circular polarizer on and uh, the camera set up at f11, ISO 50 and 1 20th of a second as the image, working out really quite nice. Again, just waiting for the, the waves to splash over the top and obviously taking that image, so hopefully will work out really quite well. So that concludes my shoot here at St Michael's Mount this morning. What a fantastic sunrise it was and what an amazing subject to shoot. Luckily enough, I've got that image that I really wanted of the cobbled causeway. So now with only about five minutes left until I get my parking ticket, I need to head back to the car. But thanks everyone for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't all done so already. And until next time, take care.